Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Daniel Brogan, CEO of Wellme. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about a funny little story as to how we almost lost uh, $1.5 million by not posting to social media. And it's a close tragedy, so I'm going to tell you what the ending is like when I've completed this speech. So, we're going to get some blood pumping in the room here. I know you guys have been sat down a lot today. Um, I'd like to see who can stand up if you've been posting to social media every single day this year. Could you actually stand up, guys? I'd like to see, actually, if you guys have a social media strategy and you've actually been posting content to social media every single day this year. Go ahead and stand up. We've got one, two. We probably have like 100 people in the room or something. Okay, you guys can sit down. Okay, next question is this. Who in the room, and you can stand up, believes that they need a social media strategy in 2022 to get more mortgage business. If you guys go ahead and stand up. Stand up, don't raise your hand, stand up if you think that's the case. So I would probably say there's around about 80% of you that stood up versus maybe 1% of you that stood up for the first question. And really, the delta between what happened there, there was a load of people that need to post to social media and not many people actually doing it. And that's really the reason that Wowme exists. Wowme is a company that helps you from not doing this, drowning when you're trying to post to social media every single day. It's just really, really hard. And I certainly know more about that than probably most just simply because I'm the co-founder of a company that helps you guys post to social media every single day. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about how we almost lost $1.5 million uh, by not posting to social media. And it was quite simply started with a phone call from a, a mortgage advisor who was transitioning mortgage companies. And you know that happens quite a lot in your guys' industry. And so this gentleman was moving to a new mortgage company and he phoned up and he said, hey, I want to bring your program to this new mortgage company. Can you help me out? And when we do that, we have to go through vendor approvals, there's a whole legal thing. You know, you're posting a lot of content for somebody, and so there's certain things that have to be done to make sure that you can actually, you know, work in this organization. So, we're gonna do some math here, guys. This mortgage company was about a thousand mortgage advisors, and so in basically any kind of organization, we have about a 20% penetration rate, okay? So 20% of that organization will end up working with us in about a one year period. And so let's just take a look at the numbers. Um, I know this is off just a little bit, but $399 is what we charge per month. 18 is the actual term, it's an 18 month contract. And 200 is the amount of mortgage advisors that we would have got uh, onboarded onto our program. And so if you do simple math, it's about 1.5 million bucks. And so as we ramp up to actually getting the opportunity to onboard this company, it's very exciting for our company. There's new people that we work with, um, and of course there's a great monetary gain in it, but it's all about building more relationships. The more relationships that we build, the, the, the more resources we have to help our members. Everything was going fantastically well until the day before they were going to sign the agreement. And when that happened, I got an email through um, from the gentleman who was helping us out. And this is the email that I got through. <clears throat> This is a company that helps create turnkey branding, marketing, and social media content, yet the last thing their CEO, by the way, that's me, posted on their Facebook and Instagram was from April of 2020. Wow. By the way, for reference, this is the post. My role as the CEO of Roundme, the same as your role in your own CEO of your company, is to make sure that you are growing revenue in your company. I totally let my company down. Like big time. That's, that's a lot of money, 1.5 million bucks. And it felt like this, for me at least. <laughs> and you guys all have had this experience of your funding loans and they've fallen out of bed at the 11th hour, uh, if you're trying to recruit somebody. And the, the thing that really bothered me most of all is that I really know better. You know, Wami's been in business since 2013. We've created 250,000 pieces of content. We've served over 13,000 customers, and we've done it in 49 states. We're really hoping for North Dakota this year. And so it was a real, it was a, it was a real, uh, it was a problem for me. And the thing is, 
What I failed to recognize is the short-term and long-term effects of what not posting meant. The short-term effects were great, uh, I had more time, I didn't have to be on social media, I didn't have to write content, it was great. The long-term effects were really the big problem. Because for the first time ever, not only had we lost deals that I knew about, but what about the deals I didn't know about? We weren't considered a thought leader. People questioned our expertise. And this is a reflection point that I've really been thinking about ever since this happened in 2021. What is the value of a lost relationship before you've earned it? What is the value of a lost relationship before you've earned it? Whether that's a prospect or whether that's a referral partner, what is the value of a lost relationship before you've earned it? And here's the deal. I had tons of excuses. The same excuses that I hear from our members before they become members every single day. In 2020, these were my excuses. Number one, we had this small pandemic situation. When that happened, Wowie shut down. The state of California said nobody can come into our facility to shoot. We had to figure a way to pivot. So we were scrambling to figure out how to save our company to a certain extent. The next thing was I was overseeing uh, tremendous technology builds that essentially eliminate the need for humans to produce content. It's a big undertaking. And then my third and my most favorite excuse is that in July 2020, I became a father. Uh, the picture on the right was taken a few weeks ago, and the picture on the left obviously was when he was first born. That's Reese, my son. Uh, this time goes really, really quickly. And uh, what I recognize is that I had the same problems that you guys had, except I was in the opposite position this time. Instead of helping you guys to, to post every day, I needed to help myself. I had consistently shared problems with you guys. And so what I was really trying to figure out is, you know, how could I find the time, resources, and money to make this happen? I didn't have the time because I was trying to pivot the company, save the company, build the technology. I didn't have the resources because I was putting it all into that. And I know that I'm worth per hour from a monetary standpoint, and saving my company was worth more per hour versus me writing and creating content. What I can tell you is this was an almost tragedy. What happened in the end is that another mortgage advisor moved to the same company and ended up vetting us. He was a top producer. And that's how we managed to save the deal through a lot of PR, we should say. And not only did we save the deal, but we ended up licensing our very first web technology platform to this company as well. And so we're all faster to surpass the, the 1.5. So how am I going to make sure that doesn't happen again? The first thing is, <laughs> is that you guys have heard the biblical quote, the cobbler's children never have shoes? Well, today it manifests itself as tech companies that slack on their own tech marketing, and that was us. So there's four things that we're doing. Number one, we're going to build our own ecosystem. An ecosystem is what we provide you guys. It gives you content on a daily basis, two posts to social media, you come in to shoot for five hours, you're taken care of for 18 months. We're going to build our own ecosystem. The next thing is I'm going to leverage my sales team, my member success team, my copywriting team to broadcast more of the message, and I'm going to start writing content again. I am a writer. I love writing. And then the most exciting thing I'm looking forward to is using the app that reminds me to post every single day without me having to really worry about it. Also, look, creating relationships online is not just the only way to do that. I'm also committing to meeting one decision maker in person every single month if I have to fly there, drive there, get the train, whatever. And so, here's some takeaways that I think you guys might enjoy. The first thing is never underestimate the power of your digital reputation. Second is creating content is a huge undertaking. Get a team behind you. Whammy is that team for you. And then the third thing is damage is done really quickly and sometimes without notice. And the last slide here is this. You think the price for posting content is expensive. Wait until you get the bill for not posting. For us, that was almost losing a $1.5 billion deal. If you guys would like to learn more about how our partnership with C2 has manifested in a program for you guys so you can actually post every single day, then I invite you to join us on June the 8th to learn more about that. Uh, we all have already done an initial webinar.
and so we'd certainly love to see you there and show you what we do for you. Thank you so much, guys. I really hope that was helpful to you. Appreciate your time.